I guess the Trump administration just did the criminal settlement with Purdue, and it's going through this bankruptcy process, which will help it organize all these new civil cases against it. But not a single person has been charged, right? Not a single executive. They certainly haven't yet looked through to individual Sackler family member owners, even if they may have been directly involved in knowledgeable about the way um, their product was being pushed. Yet, we haven't heard anything about that. Um, And they're also going to still have millions of dollars each. So why is there no interest in doing that? I don't know. Um, I have no idea why um, why that's not more popular. I think some people try to run on these issues, but then they're accused of being biased, right, um, against people. You even hear this, and we were talking about this before the show. I know it might be a bit of a tangent, but you're even hearing people and you're seeing op-eds in newspapers by the, you know, the, the, the so-called serious people saying, you know, we just need to move on and that no one in the Justice Department Um, should hold anyone accountable who was part of the Trump administration, even if they committed crimes, that Joe Biden, there shouldn't be hearings in Congress that Joe Biden should move on and unify the country. And like, that's completely the wrong thing to do. You know, the where populist anger, populist anger comes from is this idea that some people can break the law and are above the law. And the rest of us are victims of that. And no one cares about the rest of us. And I think it's a huge mistake to take that path. But as you see, if we're not even willing to prosecute people who weren't part of the Trump administration who may have been involved in criminal activity, then it's going to be even harder to go after former politicians when um, they have so many supporters.